Yeah, try money increase. There's the end, we in the end. I was watching um video Ariel Algorithm. I think you see that it was a video actually a clip from somebody else, but when you first was seeing that it ain't really gonna have a, a collapse in it. They're gonna have a withdrawal because everything don't belong to them, so they're just gonna skip everything back to the server and they're gonna actually go to the bug out. Because they're gonna get up to it. So they're gonna keep just like um like with um I was thinking to the like spring, spring up in by wind bag and tell. I think hey, just got the government might come and lock up that nobody can go in. But let me tell you, what that you? resources belong to them. They are not going to tell you, water own every water. Once it falls from the sky and touch the ground, the government own it. Yes, it own it. So it's not like it's not like they ain't gonna have, they're gonna have. Because that's the reason they, they're gonna be persuaded into taking the trip. Because somebody had to have something to give you and they're gonna say the only way again is by taking this trip. Huh. So they're actually gonna withdraw the thing they have. And next thing too, the water company can take your house. People don't know that. That's in the constitution. Wasa could take your house. Once you're in areas, they can take your house. But they not they, uh, they, the constitution though put right now they put a, a, a hole on that. But but hey, you see how they you see how they tax and everything? And they want to bring property tax and all these different things, all that can come back into play. So, hey, so you don't have that time before things start happening out there, people start to bubble. You see, oh, um, you see um, in the latest Venezuelan news that Venezuelans run into Colombia and these other um, states just for food. For food, right now. They were drawing, they were draw, they were draw. I guess I, I think they might, probably these other nations are trading with Venezuela right now. But it's the because 26 verse 26. And when I have broken the staff of your bread, huh. I go go on in Venezuela. Huh. See, so break the staff of bread day. So right now, they flee over to Colombia. Huh. Go to the neighbor. Huh. Ten women shall make your bread in one oven, and they shall deliver you your bread again by weight, and you shall eat and not be satisfied. Huh. You understand? Yeah. So you're going over to Colombia, and guess what? The Colombians now, they're not going to hide no food to feed. to feed them. That's yeah. alone to feed them and the Venezuelans. And then after they leave from Colombia, they're going to come here. Yeah. They're going to come over here. So that's going to happen. They're going to even cause things to, tensions to rise even more. Yeah, refugee crisis all over. You understand? And then then those who not in the know, who not paying attention to what, what, the, what, the, what the prophet said, they will know that they're going to be hard and stiff neck towards their own brother. So we, we, we some serious times, whereas we also in some happy times. Yeah. Because we actually see the prophecies fulfilling. Yeah. You understand? Okay. Matthew chapter 13 verse 17. Are you from 16? It says, Blessed, but blessed are your eyes for their see and your ears for their hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them. Yeah, that men, men back then prophesied about the mark of the beast, prophesied about the destruction, Ezra. But now guess what? We actually see those things that they desire to see. Just like the apostles Lord, the God at this said time, he stole the kingdom again to Israel. And this that said time. Alright? Good. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 40. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 43. It says, Rejoice all ye nations with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servant, and will render vengeance to his adversary, and will, and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. Yeah, and to his people. His people are going to be merciful to his one third of Israel. Which is the lack and the remnant of the one third. You understand? But the Lord coming to bring judgment and vengeance against two thirds of Israel. Alright? Hey, first of all, for killing his son. Alright? They are bring judgment to two thirds of Israel and to the other nations. So that is what this judgment is about. Hey, this judgment is about Esau rising to another level or Japanese or Chinese rising to a throne. Nah, it's not about that. It's about all these nations being put in the right place. On that Israel peak, all right, and you know they are, they are shy in um, 
inherited all things along with the elect. Right? Somebody show that. Joel chapter 2 and verse 1. Blow the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm. Yeah, that alarm is what? That war coming? That destruction coming? Somebody give me Jeremiah 8 15. War coming, war on the horizon. What the fuck, war here? They merge at the end, verse 15. They look for peace, but not good came. But no good came. When? It says, and for a time of health, and behold, trouble. Yeah, and for a time of health, behold, trouble. Because right now, there are people in America that are looking for America to rise again. Anastasia, and start in England and rise. America is going to fall, it's going to crumble. So kingdom crumbling right now is sitting deep. It's circling the drain. You understand? So you people looking for help. You people looking for the government to make a new way. Thinking that hey, this chip might be the God sent comforter. The thing that's gonna make everything be stabilized. Guess what? Ain't gonna happen that way. Go on to the dog, go on to Egypt for help. Ain't gonna happen that way. You understand? Lamentation. Yeah, lamentation. Um. Go ahead, speak, speak. I'm finished. Go ahead. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. So that's why, that's why we rejoice. And we catch hell on a daily basis. But guess what? One thing is keeping me back in mind that. All these things that are causing us to keep to, to catch hell actually is like boot camp. They're preparing us for the days that come in. They're preparing us for the days that come in. It's it, 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 it preparing our mind to, to, to face the tribulation that only way. That's how we do some, some mental weight. We're not going to be emotional in that time. But we know what comes in. These people are gonna be emotional and front, taking the shit. Exactly. Because there was it's like it's like when a hurricane is coming, you ain't gonna prepare for the hurricane when they can't you gonna prepare when it's when when it hear the song hey hurricane coming. And that is the, the Lord give us that heads up, we open our eyes to give us that heads up. Destruction coming to prepare self. And the only way to prepare self is by what? To, to have faith in God about shit out shine. Peace and faith, peace and hope. Understand? Well, when, so like, yeah, but when uh, Yahweh Shai, one of the disciples tried to heal this, this sick girl, and Yahweh Shai went in and he was he brought her back to life. And the disciples turned and asked him, How come we wasn't able? He said, This type of faith, there's strong faith, and that type of strong faith comes with what? Prayer and fast. Right? So that's what we should be doing on this side now, because basically, hey, we want the most to show us mercy in that time. Look how we going through it, we get any hardships now before, before that time when they come. So hey, we pray that Yahweh, our Shem Yahweh, shall keep us on his, his wings in that time. Can't, can't. Find it? Find it? Yeah. 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 Four verse seventeen. He said, "As for us, our eyes are set as um, as for us, our eyes as yet fail for for our vain help. In our watch, we watch for a nation that could not save us. Yeah, the watch foundation is for vain help. Right? Understand? It's a vain help. This is um." This is Isaiah 8 verse, um, verse, verse 12. Say ye not a confederacy to all to all them to whom this people shall say a confederacy. Neither fear ye be afraid nor be afraid. So when them say confederacy with the government, you know with, with Esau system, the Lord say, don't make your confederacy, don't, don't, don't run to take that chip. Okay. And you hear when the fear comes, don't fear. Because guess what? You have a shimmer shine have your back. So don't fear and don't even make a confederacy as you were read without being helped. I, I got a piece of paper here again. Eh? This is Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 23. 
truly in vain is salvation hope it uh, for from the hills and from the and from the multitude of mountains truly in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai our power is the salvation of Israel yeah in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is the salvation so any other help is in vain Done. any other help is in vain you understand the Lord said truly in him is is um is, is um salvation the Psalms 46, 146 verse 3 Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of men, where there is no help. Right. Right. The Lord said, don't pay trust in your make confederacy with the government. You understand? Um, somebody give me um, Isaiah 26 and 5. You understand? He said, where there is no help, who can deliver from the Lord? Nobody. Who can save? The how about Shemel Shai? So that is who we had a pay of trust in. And that is who we do as the same portion. But we exercise in our faith in the Lord. Because all the tribulation, all the tests that we go through is actually to bear with character. Right. Bear with faith. Bear with trust in the Lord. So that in that day, when the Lord turn off that switch, guess what? We know that we don't even have to worry about the darkness because the Haba Hashem is our life. Right. Go ahead, go back to Isaiah chapter 36, verse 5. I say, say no, but they are bad words. They have counsel and strength of war. No, on whom does thou trust? That thou rebellest against me. When Lord, thou trust is in the in the yeah. staff. They trust to rebel against the Lord. The Lord still don't take that microchip. The Lord still don't take that microchip. Then guess what? He come and say, stop preaching this word, and he gonna make sure that you save from the, from the, um, the missiles, but whereas coming out here and preaching, you ain't sure. Right. And I said, that you any head game you go play. But I guess we all go back to faith. You understand? Yeah, the movie Transformers Dark Side of the Moon. They had the, um, the, the, star, the star girlfriend was working for this man now, boy. But he was he was a traitor to the, 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 to the Decepticon, right? Because he thought he was going to get immunity. He's gonna have part of the kingdom with them. And when they finish, use him to get to, to Optimus and, and the other Transformers. They, they, they call him up. They, basically, um, what's his name? Um, he had Decepticon. Um, Megatron. Megatron. He flick him away. You understand? He said, I don't need you. And he, I, basically, he, he, he was going to kill him. You understand? Yeah, and, and that is basically what he saw when I was to before. You, you, and, and, and a matter of fact, when the Lord comes and the Lord brings his own wrath, because like, he misses this part of the Lord's wrath, but he does use his sword to, to bring that wrath. Huh. If you, somebody give me Isaiah 28 verse 15. If you escape that judgment, how oh, you can escape the Lord Yahweh and Shimei and Shai? That we're supposed to think about. Yes, sir. The Jeremiah 17 and 5. Thus said the Lord Yahweh and Shimei and Shai. Cause me the man that trusted in man, that trusted in man, and make it flesh his arm. Yeah, and make flesh his arm. And whose heart departed from the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yes, it will not fall away from this thing. You know when you are playing trust, trust in flesh, you are playing trust in flesh, the scripture talks about fear not the son of man that is black. The Lord called Israel worm. If the Lord called Israel worms and the Lord called the other nations dung and spit and nothing, who are you going to put your trust in? When you really think about the destruction that's coming, all right, when you really think about the destruction that's coming, all you can do is just pay. Ancient prophets used to fall down flat on the face when they just get a, a, a little hint at what's coming. And we actually gonna live those days. It's only Yahweh Hashem and Shai gonna be able to save us. Yeah, we coming out here, Ephesians 6, 19. We talking all bold. We talking full of faith, full of hope. But guess what? We are afraid. But the Lord said don't be afraid because guess what? When we see all the scriptures say the, the remnant gonna be afraid and still give glory. Because guess what? We are saved through hope. 
We're hoping that we can have easy level. The Lord could just bring us out here just to preach this 